be aware this is not showing an over unity machine okay this is showing effects and I only aim to show effects uh, many people would be able to explain this away um, this is capacitive coupling um, to a degree um, you could almost say that there is uh, some evidence of Maxwell's um, displacement current here what I want to show is uh, more so the resonance magnetic resonance what I call magnetic resonance or at least the start of magnetic resonance um, you can see here the amplitude increases on the wave from when we started up. Uh, now this is a it's a very simple machine. It's basically an H bridge. What you're seeing at the tops of the wave there, uh, and the bottoms is a um, spike. It's a delay in conduction. It's where my H bridge has not switched the polarity across to the other side yet. Okay. Now normally in an H bridge you would normally see um, the switching go on at zero at here okay so this is normally where you'd see a switch here and here on this side so it would be the zero cross so each half of this um, AC wave is basically it's a, it's a DC pulse okay now what you're seeing is, is a resonance effect uh, if you keep an eye on the uh, on the frequency there up in the top left corner here it's currently 223 sorry 623 odd Hertz now if I move it out of frequency okay you can see it's dropped to 600 odd Hertz and you can see the amplitude has decreased the noise in the background has also decreased uh, if I keep switching you will see that it will get worse and worse and worse okay now if I switch far enough and if I turn the amplitude on the scope up a little bit you'll see if I go far enough out of resonance okay you're going to start seeing the, the spikes getting bigger um, and obviously it's the spikes are starting to occur at the zero cross now if I go back up I'm currently sitting about 500 Hertz Okay, back up to 586. Okay, amplitude increasing. Noise in the background starting to increase. Turn the amplitude on the scope down again a little bit. And you can see again. And there you go, the amplitude has gone right back up, the noise has gone right back up, and if I go on the other side, we get a slightly different effect. Now if I switch channel 2 off, you can see what we're getting here is the effect of the H-bridge, where the H-bridge is actually switching at the zero cross on each side, there's a delay in the switch between here and here. Okay, the delay, if we I'll try and get a bit, bit of a read on that. Okay, if we switch to cursor, we go to, um, instead of time, if we go to voltage. Okay, if we drop that one there, a bit higher, down a bit further and you can see there's about roughly there's about a 1.04 volt um, difference in the uh, amplitude there at least um, and if the if we go out to time and switch the cursor back to time we'll always do that okay, a couple too many okay you can see that's the end Go from here and let's sort of take a reasonable. There's a fair bit of ringing going on there, so let's. Um, 
so it's about 409 kilohertz uh, from that cursor to that cursor. Okay, so there is a, del a delay in conduction there. You can see the delay in conduction. It's clearly visible on the scope. Depends where you're looking. Um, so what I'm really trying to show you is what I'm really trying to show you is that the frequency is resonant at a certain point. And if we go past the frequency. We, we see the amplitude going down again. Okay, uh, this is this. It's non-intuitive. It's a non-intuitive coil arrangement. This is not a coil arrangement that would normally be seen anywhere. Um, I will show you a little bit more. Okay, um, this is my homemade H bridge, home built. I've got a microcontroller in here. This is um, the .NET gadget here, uh, equipment here, uh, all this I've built myself, down here I've built myself, this is home built, um, so I've got capacitors uh, from the input, this is the measurement block. Uh, now again, remember this, is, this machine is not over unity, it's a symmetrical machine, we're not going to get over unity in a symmetrical machine, um, you, just, you can't do it, it can't be done, it's got to be asymmetrical. Now this is um, a globe just to show you that there is power in these coils here. This is the earth that I've been telling you about for some time. It's in the bridged bit in the middle. The globe is connected between the bridged bit in the middle. Okay. Now if you were to apply the right hand rule, okay, we have a positive here and a negative here. The positive here, okay, if we follow the coil, this here, if we were to have the positive on this terminal and apply the right hand grip rule, right hand grip rule would tell us it's in that way. Okay. This one here, if we had a positive in here, the right hand grip rule grip will be in that way. But that's not the way the coils are set up. The way the coils are set up is this one here, so it's opposite to this one. So we have a right hand grip rule, magnetic field that way. Okay. Positive out this terminal into that terminal magnetic field that way okay so magnetic fields oppose these are opposing magnetic fields negative terminal on this side okay this is something I want to show you very quickly as well you're going to have to excuse the mess it's been hectic here for quite some time I haven't really had a good chance to clean things okay it's set to DC or in DC mode okay the voltage drop across the globe here is 1.5 volts at the moment if I go back to resonance, okay, resonance, okay, it's light one point four five nine. Now with any H bridge it's it's a DC chopping device okay so what we're seeing is we're seeing a DC um, applied across the coils here in one direction and then it flips it across in the other direction okay so it's 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 a flip-flop H bridge is a flip-flop device it's applying the current in different directions at different times now importantly what we're seeing is we're seeing a DC voltage between these two terminals. It's DC. Even though we've got chopped AC applied to the coils, it's DC. If I switch the terminals over, if I can do it with one hand with these short terminals. Okay, and you can see now we've got a negative voltage. So even though we have applied a an AC alternating current in the form of a square wave chopped DC to the coils, the output to the globe is DC. It's DC, DC current, direct current. It's in one polarity. Okay, so it's not AC. Okay, so. 
Um, I'm not going to. I don't want to spend too long on this because it, it's, as I say, this this device as it is is not over Unity. Um, but I did promise that I would show some information soon. This was a discovery I had quite some time ago, um, along with all the other discoveries that I've had. This was quite fascinating because it shows some pretty amazing effects. Um, I encourage uh, the replication of it. Now, just to let you know, this H-Bridge is a little bit unique. Um, it switches with that delay that I've already shown you, and the delay is important. If you don't have the delay, okay, a, a delay in uh, delayed conduction, if you like, this machine does not appear to work. It doesn't work. Um, I can't get, first of all, I can't get the bulb to light. I can't get resonance on the coils. Okay, and remember this resonance, it's quite quite noisy. Um, so the resonance is uh, very similar to what Floyd Sweet showed us. Remember he had the big sponge under his machine at one stage. Uh, now something else I want to show you very quickly is if we disconnect the load, the noise goes up drastically and we have a, a much higher amplitude on the scope, obviously, um, but the input hasn't gone up at all. Okay. Um, now, like I said, I'm not claiming this device to be over Unity. What I'm saying is look for the effects. Look for the effects these devices are showing you because this is it's the effects that will give you a an, an open door to get to the next stage because the next stage is making this asymmetrical so it does all asymmetrically and you've got to remember that our input coil in the middle um, so this would normally be our input coil in an asymmetrical machine but at the moment I'm using both these output coils okay magnetic fields opposing tuned to a magnetic resonance which is similar to the Mr. Prever setup but a much different way to do it and remember you've got to have it earthed um, in the middle because if it's not earthed okay we lose the effect and that's our that's our wave so we lose the entire result of the of the machine doing what it's supposed to be doing okay so by earthing it now I've tested this many times and I've actually earthed it to the ground to a copper ground pole outside um, and it, it's the same basic effect. The middle of the coils have got to be earthed in some cases. Now this is not always the case. Okay, so this particular machine needs an earth and then it's got to be tuned for resonance. Um, I've measured the, the current coming from the earth to the coils. Um, it's, it's insignificant. It's in the microamps. It's very, very small. I have in some devices I've measured a little bit more. Um, in this one, it's in the microamp scale, so there's nothing there uh, it, that's coming in via the earth or going out via the earth that would cause this effect in the coil. Um, it seems, to, it appears to be um, a highly capacitive effect. So the capacity between this coil and the capacity between this coil seem to have a, a, a flip-flop resonance between the two, and that's how I'm explaining. Well, that's how I think uh, this comes out as DC on these on these two terminals here. Anyway, I don't want to make this too long. Like I say, this is only a start. It's only a beginning project. It gives people a direction. Um, it shows an effect, and that's what you you really need to sort of start looking for is the effects. It's not because it's not it's not standard science. We've still got a lot to learn, and. You know, some people sort of criticise, oh, you know, you'd be a millionaire or a billionaire if you, you know, that's just not the way it works. I'm sorry, these people are just sheltered, let's say. Anyway, look, um, look for the effects, look for the magnetic resonance. This is what I deem to be magnetic resonance. I've shown you how to tune it, how to get there. Um, I've shown you that if you apply the right hand grip rule to the coils, okay, positive on this terminal, which means that it has to be wrapped around this way for it to come out on this terminal, so positive that way, and then positive in that way, so we have magnetic fields opposing. Um, sorry for the mess in the background again, um, 
<coughs> just been busy here, we've been sick and all that sort of thing with colds and bits and pieces as well. So anyway, I'll get this posted. Hopefully it'll make some sense to everybody out there. Now something I didn't point out in the last video is if I flip the polarity of one of these coils, I can't get this effect to work. Okay, so this effect that I'm seeing here is polarity specific. It doesn't work unless I have the polarity right. 